Welcome back to my math channel. For this video, I will discuss the confidence intervals for the population mean when population standard deviation is unknown. To start with, first, please take note of the following. Aside from sample size, it is also important to consider the population standard deviation in estimating the confidence intervals for the population mean. There are situations that sample size is small, therefore central limit theorem is not applicable, and the population standard deviation is unknown. To estimate the confidence interval for this situation, population standard deviation can be replaced by sample standard deviation. And to do this method, the t-distribution will apply. In the t-distribution, we use the concept of the degrees of freedom denoted by df. The degrees of freedom refer to the number of values that are free to vary after a sample statistics has been computed. And they tell us the specific curve to use when a distribution consists of family curves. Example, if mean of four numbers is 5, then three of the four values are free to vary. But once the three values are selected, the fourth number must be a specific number. Thus, if n equals 4, the degrees of freedom equals n minus 1 equals 4 minus 1 equals 3. The formula for computing the confidence interval using the t-distribution is mu or the population mean is between x bar minus t quantity s over square root of n and x bar plus t quantity s over square root of n. Where t are values found in the t-table that are proportions to the areas in the two tails of the curve called the critical values of t in the sense that they are the boundaries of the middle area where the true mean lies. And here is the t table of several confidence level. I cut it into two to fit on the screen. Before we solve confidence interval using t distribution, let's talk first on its Properties. Property number one, the t-distribution is symmetrical about its center. As you observe on the figure at the right, from the center, the left half face or the yellow is most likely the same and opposite to the right half green face. The t-distribution is a bell shape but has heavier tails. Look at the red and green T-curves at the right. They have heavier tails in compared to the black Z-curves. Property number 3, the mean, median, and mode of the T-distribution is equal to 0. Property number 4, the variance of T-distribution is always greater than 1. Property number 5, as the degrees of freedom increases, the t-distribution more like a normal curve. Property number 6, the standard deviation varies with the sample size. And property number 7, the area in the distribution is 1 or 100%. Steps in finding the confidence interval. 1. Determine the confidence coefficient t sub alpha over 2. 2. Find the maximum error e of the estimate. 3. Find the lower and upper confidence limits and number 4. Interpret the results. Let's continue. Problem 1. The statistician of a certain university wants to know the mean age of entering mathematics majors. He computed the mean age of 18 years and a standard deviation of 1.4 years on a random sample of 25 entering mathematics majors coming from a normally distributed population. With 99% confidence, find the interval estimate of the population mean. For step 1, determine the confidence coefficient or t sub alpha over 2 for 99%. Using the t-table, if n equals 25, the degrees of freedom equals n minus 1, 25 minus 1 equals 24. 
the coefficient for this value is equal to to find that t sub alpha over 2 from the t table kindly get the intersection of 24 and the 99 percent and it is 2.7969 step 2 solve for the maximum error e for the formula t sub alpha over 2 quantity s is over square root of n Substitute 2.7969 to T sub alpha over 2, 1.4 to S, and 25 to N on the formula. Simplify 1.4 over square root of 25 equals 0 0.28. Multiply 0 0.28 to 2.7969 equals 0 0.78. Therefore, our maximum error is 0 0.78. For step 3, Solve for the lower and upper confidence limits using the formula on the screen. Next, substitute the sample size of 18 on x bar on the formula. And the maximum error is already solved in step 2. Next, substitute the maximum error which is equivalent to 0 0.78 on both sides of the formula. Continue to simplify. 18 minus 0 0.78 equals 17.22. 18 plus 0 0.78 is 18.78. Because of that, our population mean now is between 17.22 and 18.78 or 17.22 to 18.78. Means that based on 99% confidence level, the limit on the left tail is 17.22 and on the right tail it is 18.78. For step 4, interpret the result. Thus, we can say with 99% confidence that the interval between 17.22 and 18.78 contains the true mean age the population of entering math majors based on 25 samples entering math majors. Next problem number 2, the average weight of 20 dark chocolate bars selected from a normally distributed population is 180 grams with a standard deviation of 15 grams. Find the interval estimate using the 95% confidence level. For step 1, find the confidence coefficient or the T sub alpha over 2 for 95%. Since n is equal to 20, degrees of freedom is 20 minus 1 equals 19. From the t-table, the coefficient for this value equals 2.0930. To find the maximum error, substitute 2.0930 to t sub alpha over 2, 15 to s, and 20 to n. Divide 15 over square root of 20 equals 3.35. Multiply 3.35 to 2.0930 equals 7. Therefore, in this problem, the maximum error is 7. To find the lower confidence limit, subtract 7 to the mean which is equal to 180. And to find the upper confidence limit, add 7 to the mean which is 180. Then simplify both sides. 180 minus 7 equals 173, the lower limit. 180 plus 7 equals 187, the upper confidence limit. So the interval estimate is between 173 and 187 or 173 to 187. Meaning based on 95% confidence level, the limit on the left tail is 173 and on the right tail 187. To interpret the result, we can say with 95% confidence that the interval between 173 and 187 contains the true mean weight of dark chocolate bars based on 20 samples of dark chocolate bars. Last problem number 3. The mean age of 28 health volunteers to fight COVID-19 in the community is 22 years with a standard deviation of 3 years. 
the sample comes from the normally distributed population. Using the 90% confidence level, what is the interval estimate for the population mean? For the solution, please continue watching the video. You can pause or screenshot for better understanding. Thank you.